I'm Elizabeth Piranam and these are the stories making headlines on Al Jazeera. Al Jazeera has obtained exclusive footage of the Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb. Its fighters helped rebels in Mali seize the northern half of the country after a military coup in March. In a video, the group's commander rejects foreign intervention in Mali and warns his fighters are preparing for war. Rebel fighters in the Democratic Republic of Congo have started pulling out of towns captured from government troops. A military leader of the group, N23, says the decision follows a deal brokered with Uganda. Nazanin Mashiri reports. The big question is why is M23 withdrawing without its conditions being met? There's been a lot of international pressure on the group to leave, particularly from Uganda. But it's only going 20 kilometers away from Goma, close enough to mount another attack if it needs to. Palestinians are preparing to renew their bid for improved status at the United Nations. The Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas has been meeting Secretary General Ban Ki-moon ahead of the vote later on Thursday. If passed, they will acquire additional rights but will not become full members. More than 20 so-called red shirt leaders in Thailand who were due to go on trial on Thursday have had their case postponed until next month. They're accused of terrorism in connection with the violent protests in April 2010 that left many of their own members dead. You can find the latest on all those stories and more at aljazeera.com.